automated services have replaced humans in supermarkets, banks and airports. AI is replacing human jobs. AI is making us lazy. AI is doing that. AI is doing this. Doesn't that sound crazy? In that context, for the past few days, I've been seeing content creators posting amazing artworks of theirs on their social media handles. And what surprised me is the fact that all these artworks were generated using AI. Yes, you heard that right, using AI. Well, you might have seen MKBHD's video about a project called as Dali, e And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, Dali e is an AI project by a company called as OpenAI. So it is basically an AI application or software, you can say, which can generate artwork by giving it a small keyword that is reference to it. Like for instance, you can generate an artwork where a tiger is using an iPhone, or you can also generate an artwork where a lion is using a MacBook. See, it does it perfectly well, right? Not only that, there's another project called as ChatGPT, which is also developed by OpenAI, where you can generate essays by giving a reference, or you can also generate line of codes for a program. Like for instance, if you are a student and your teacher is asking you to write an essay about Indian independence under 500 words, you can simply go inside ChatGPT and type, write an essay about Indian independence under 500 words, and within a few seconds, it will automatically do it for you. Not only that, if you are in your computer class and your teacher is asking you to write a program using Fibonacci series, you just need to type write a program using Fibonacci series and you are good to go. Everything is generated automatically with the help of AI. Now things like this is amazing and fascinating and you can also try that on your own. The link is in the description. It is basically a website called as OpenAI. You need to create an account for using all these things and you are good to go. While trying all these things, you might feel really fascinated and surprised and wowed. But the fact that these are things that is trying to replace the work of a human being is very dangerous. AI can be used to assist us or help us in some or the other work that we are doing. But if it makes everything too easy, then eventually we will stop thinking on ourselves and the AI will start taking everything under its control, which is very dangerous and disastrous if it happens. Now, I'm not against AI, ML or the company called as OpenAI. What I'm against is the fact that AI being used to replace the work of a human being. Now, remember I said about the artworks that is posted by content creators online? These artworks are generated using an application called as Lensa, but it is not free. If it was free, then it would have been a challenge for all the artists, but it is a paid service. What that application basically does is to generate an amazing artwork by using reference images of yours, like 10 or 20 reference images. And if you need to upload those 10 or 20 reference images, then you need to buy a subscription inside that application, which costs somewhere around eight to $10, if I'm not wrong. And imagine if you give that same amount of money to an artist that you can find online, he can create better artwork than that app actually generates. I mean, of course, the app generates really crazy looking artworks, but most of the artworks that is generated through that application looks pretty same in terms of the color or in terms of the way it looks. So if an AI right now can generate artworks that look stunning, in the future, it can completely destroy the livelihood of artists. Now, as I said, I'm not against AI or ML. Even in my channel, I've featured a lot of AI related content. And heck, the phone that I use is also loaded with AI and ML feature and that's why I bought it. Using AI or ML to assist us in doing some work is completely fine, but using AI or ML to replace the work of a human being is very dangerous and it can lead to things like the AI taking control of our brains. Anyways, if you really want to generate crazy artworks like that, if you find a free alternative that's there online, you can simply do that. Or if you are ready to spend some money, just give it to some artists who are ready to do that. In that way, you are at least helping an artist and you will also get better results than what an AI application will give you. The intention of this video is simple and I hope you understood what I was trying to say. And if you agree on the point that I've said, then don't forget to drop a like to this video and also comment your opinion about AI replacing the work of a human.
being it's dangerous but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i would love to read what you guys think also don't forget to share this video with all of your friends and also subscribe to our channel because most of the people who watch our channel forget to subscribe so it's very simple just scroll down subscribe and it motivates me to create really good content and also press the bell icon to get all the notifications of our upcoming videos so this is me adnav signing off talk to you guys in the next one. bye bye